sun, moon, and stars and two. Greetings, suns and moons, and of course I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mother share. I do appreciate all of you for your likes, your donations, your shares, the confirmations you send me through email, your comments, the, the positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself, and overall the positive way you show up in the planet. Now let's get in there like swimwear. I want to thank everyone for the donations, the super thanks, okay? The healing vibrations that you send me. I really do appreciate all of you. I also want to remind people that I have a doppelganger, a copycat, a replica, a clone, a WhatsApp bandit, a mini me, an English professor, and somebody that want to be better than me, but copying me. You get the gist, okay? Now, I said all that to say, be mindful of any comments that you see in the comment section. My readings are closed. Any and all information that you need about me will be in the description box below. I'm also being guided to let people know that I'm not affiliated with anyone, okay? No musician, no uh, uh, website, no nonprofit. So if you happen to see my content in, in, in any other place but on YouTube and on this channel, know that it's been hijacked, okay? Now what I'm getting here is... Uh, there's some sort of illusion that someone's coming out of in the past. Now, some of you may need to give yourself some positive affirmations, okay? I'm also here speaking into existence. Some of you need to get out of your head, okay? Because your thoughts become reality. Now, before I turned on the camera, I heard a tom, a tom, a tom. And it kept playing, it kept playing, it kept playing. So what that's telling me is somebody's self-made or somebody's coming to uh, uh, completion, okay? I mean, also hearing created out of chaos, all right? So some of you are manifesting through all these hardships that's being thrown at you. You're taking a leadership role. If this is not you, this is someone in your environment. Keep that in mind that you may see your sign. This may or may not resonate with you. This could be somebody in your energetic field, someone playing around with your energy. You may know this person. You may not, okay? This could have something to do with the past over loved one, relative, a child, a grandparent, a ex, your ex's girlfriend, boyfriend, take it how it resonates, okay? But you're somebody that's very creative and is starting to show. We have Neptune here. We are in the middle of uh, Neptune retrograde. So it makes sense that all these illusions are are failing here, are, are fading. People are being, being able to see the uniqueness in you or surrounding this uh, situation, okay? I'm also hearing something about somebody's creative content. So far, we have Aries on the table as well as Pisces. Uh, with Jupiter return being here. This is talking, of, this is the green light for somebody, okay? You could also be dealing with the cancer. Some of you could be cancer survivors, okay? So some of you uh, may be battling some sort of health issue or you were in the past. I'm also hearing something about colon cancer. I'm being guided to let you know that you speak positive words over your life and over your family every day, every day, okay? Some of you may have been watching The Secret, okay, or you're practicing the laws of uh, attraction, the laws of manifestation. This is about a partnership. Somebody wasn't willing, willing to sacrifice some sort of illusion in the past is what I'm getting collective. This could be you or someone else. This is about partnerships. You may need to check your seventh house placements. Placements. I'm also getting that some of you may have uh, Capricorn in the seventh house, okay, as well as Aries, Cancer, or Pisces. And here goes that Capricorn energy. So this is about your stability. You are somebody that uses your intuition. You could be a master teacher. You could be somebody that's very balanced. Or people just look to, towards you for stability. You also may have connection to the Ascended Masters. You could be a reincarnated Ascended Master, ascended master or someone that was left out of the Bible or your... Um, your bloodline, okay? I'm also being guided to tell you about the lost scriptures. Um, some of you need, you may be more in alignment with the books that have been left out, okay, of the Bible. Here we have Capricorn. You're dedicated to your craft. If this is not you, this is someone in your environment. You could be a Capricorn, again, or somebody's just leaning on you for stability. And or this is about somebody being very shallow, only focusing on the mundane aspects of life, okay? This person may appear religious on the outside, but they have no personal connection with source, okay? 
I'm also hearing something about lordships as a, and a prince as well. Okay, so that could mean that somebody wasn't willing to step up and take a leadership role because they were worried about what people thought about them or about you. Why is hydromancy here? Some of you, you peer into water or you use water and you could... Um, yeah, some of you may use water for divination or you get some sort of downloads when you are in the water. OK, some of you, you are balancing your masculine and feminine energy, whether if you're male or female. This is about you using your intuition, following your own gut instincts, because someone was placing an illusion around you, around your family or the way you think about family. With the fourth house being here, some of you may be going back home or you're doing some sort of research on your DNA where you come from. If this is not you doing the research, there could be a doctor, a scientist, or someone else that may be researching your lineage, okay? Some of you, you didn't have adequate uh, nurturing as a child, like many of us do, but uh, I want to remind people that we're not going to focus on the, the things that went wrong. We're going to focus on the things that went right, okay? I'm also being guided to, to tell you that we don't we don't we, we we don't want to never forget the struggle that we went through but when you see these readings come out right and uh you you know that this is your story the purpose of this is to show you where you've come from okay where you're about to go so when you see this comes up and it draw it triggers something in you you're being guided at that time to manifest the solution manifest something positive take uh accountability for your actions and uh, and the leadership role in your own life okay so somebody's healing their finances or and or their love life okay this is about being practical some of you may not believe in the spiritual uh, aspects you your faith you're focused more on uh you know 3d things and and that's fine with taurus being here somebody could be a divine feminine a divine masculine all right but somebody's definitely practicing the laws of attraction you may also be doing some sort of candle magic to heal your root chakra or your roots. And damn, we got Aries clarifying Aries. What's the chances of that? Some of you could be on the cusps of Pisces and Aries is what I'm getting, as well as Aries and Taurus. There's a lot of cusp energy here, but this is about your Saturn return. This is judgment, okay? This is about your time and commit uh, commitment to your practices here. Some of you felt stuck or someone was trying to bind your energy. You needed to grow up and learn the lesson is what I'm getting collective. Somebody was focused entirely too much on the surface aspects of things. They could have been communicating with your siblings. Okay. Some of you could also be traveling, traveling or you were communicating with family pretty much okay some of you could have connections to the south you could be traveling southbound <laughs> southbound uh you know uh when you listen to this okay some of you you just came from the south possibly on a vacation but this is about traveling somebody has anxiety about secrets secrets from the past okay this could have something to do with your health i'm also hearing your intuition possibly a collaboration with the soulmate the soulmate could be someone that you're related to someone you gave birth to or they gave both birth to you this could also be about brothers and sisters somebody was very aggressive with this mars energy all right i feel like the energy has calmed down uh, there may have been some sort of confrontation with three or more people or somebody wanted you to be in mental conflict about your stability they wanted to have some sort of illusion here surrounding you okay and your belief systems and your spiritual practices here some of you you need to trust your psychic ability this part this person possibly didn't trust your psychic ability <clears throat> i feel like there's a reader here okay there's a reader here this person may, uh, you know, they may be into the laws of attraction, but when it comes to like spiritual practices and things of that sort, they're disconnected. So they weren't able to trust their intuition or they didn't trust yours. Okay. For some of you, this person may have been trying to project an outcome on you, wanting you to doubt yourself. Why is in cancer here? This could be about the matriarch, your mother, a child's mother, a mother figure. 
Three of Pentacles. This is about teamwork and working together with someone, okay? You may have a choice, okay? But this is also about your skills. <laughs> Damn, look at the synchronicities. This is about your skill set. You need to trust your intuition, who, who, um, whoever you are, okay? Somebody definitely wants to work with you. We got Ogun, that's Cancer Energy, clarifying Cancer Energy. Ogun could be somebody's head. Again, somebody's all in their head. You may work with steel. Uh, some of you may have a swords or somebody carries a knife or something like that, all right? Whoever this is uh, for you, um, you're being protected. Some people associate Ogun with Archangel Michael, okay? I don't know why I heard Saint Benedict. What it, what it, I don't know why I heard that. Okay, also Gabrielle or something like that. Why is Ogun here for cancer? Somebody wants to defend your honor here. Somebody could be trying to, to uh, place an illusion on you. Okay, your ancestors are here blocking that energy off. You could be a public figure. Somebody could also be doing like a reporting. You could be like somebody, I heard story time. Somebody could be telling a story time about a situation. Yeah, somebody's reporting on some sort of illusion. This person is facing, uh, facing some sort of debt. There's an obstacle here. Somebody is in, in regret. This person may feel unloved here. They associate uh, their love with their finances. Some of you, you know, if you don't feel loved or content, it, it lowers your motivation. Somebody's underwater here. Could be somebody's child's mother or sister. Why is uh, in Aries here, please? Something could happen going forward in airy season for some of you this is already past okay there's pa this is past present or future energy so there was a tower moment surrounding somebody's happiness this could have something to do with a family member okay we have shango this could be somebody's head as well give as well some of you 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 may come from uh, a spiritual black background or religious background where you worship uh, certain deities here okay so somebody possibly wanted to hold on to someone for financial gain okay so this person is in deep debt somebody's also regretting some sort of uh whatever they did they're regretting it here but i do feel like this is a, a child's mother or girlfriend or something like that that has some sort of abandonment issues they could have been placing it on uh, a divine masculine your masculine with aries being here that is masculine energy okay somebody wants to bring justice to a situation after going through some trials and tribulations this person may have been going back uh you know feeding into some negative energies here this person may have a lot of children you may have a lot of children or they have a lot of childish people uh in their ear okay this is talking about betrayal somebody may have felt like they didn't want to choose between you and their family but somebody has a very toxic um family here okay when you a chosen one a liked one you often do okay so somebody's running for the hills is what i'm getting i feel like this individual regrets the fact that they didn't listen to you okay this person may have grew up in a fatherless home or a motherless home this could be you all right so they had to get um they was given more than they was getting in the situation they didn't feel supported I feel like somebody came through and spoke some sort of truth to their family or your family. Why is Ogun here for cancer? Some of you, you feel this negative energy. You felt it in the past. Okay. You could have a, a platform and you talk about um, past events here. Some of you, you gained a following because people resonate with these past events and i want to remind people that you know trauma bonding has a duality there's a good and well there's a high vibe 
aspect and the low vibe aspect and what i mean by that is when we go through these toxic situations with friends and family members and we start speaking on it it creates other avenues like uh narcissistic narcissistic survivors abuse survivors okay we end up having counselors and things of that sort so you kind of like um uh, your vibe attracts your tribe right and so although you may have uh, went through this abuse, there was a beautiful outcome because other people uh, that you surround yourself with, you're helping to heal. It doesn't necessarily have to be cards. OK, when you heal through some some sort of trauma. Uh, you, 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 you create an opening for other people. I'm also hearing when you build it, they shall come. Somebody may want to fly towards you with 747. That could be significant for somebody, but there was some sort of illusion presented by a high priest or somebody that does tarot, okay? Yeah, <clears throat> somebody may have told someone to stay in a partnership with their child's mother or a wife, somebody that was a soulmate, but this person was a low vibrational soulmate. Somebody didn't want to change in a situation, okay? You could be seeing 555, five, five. that could be significant, but this is definitely speaking about a partnership, a marriage with the unk in reverse here. Somebody could have been a victim of the R word. Somebody may be a doctor. Okay. So we have Hiru and Horus here. Somebody was married to someone that was a soulless being. I feel like they were trying to protect this individual. But this person wouldn't change. They kept presenting some sort of illusion here. This person may have been protecting you in the spiritual realm from their mother, a child's mother, or somebody that they was married to. Why is uh, the on here in reverse, please? Spoiler, God wins. So somebody was trying to end a situation, but I feel like whoever this masculine is, they took accountability of their action and they moved forward. Somebody could have an insurance policy here. Somebody's wife or somebody may be waiting for some sort of payout from a mother passing. You could be an executor of a will. Um, this could have something to do with a power of attorney. Somebody could be sick. I've been getting that energy of uh, hospice care. OK, and or someone needs a lawyer, possibly a wife or something like that. You could be a lawyer in this situation, but somebody was worried about labels here. Here you are somebody that that goes by the beat of your own drum. OK, we have social norms, unwritten rules of beliefs, attitudes, behaviors. OK, I'm, I'm hearing F your labels. All right. So, yeah. Mm. So this is definitely speaking about somebody's child's mother. It could be your child's mother or this is your divine counterpart, child's mother. For some of you, this is going to be in alignment with your false flame or someone that you have a child with. Okay. I'm also I'm hearing sugar-coated shit. Okay. So somebody wanted to present some sort of illusion that possibly you were jealous of them or you wanted their lifestyle is what I'm getting. So yeah, somebody poured out. They... <laughs> They could have, <clears throat> whoever did this reading, they could have told this person to to let you go or to give up on a situation. This child's mother or whoever this is could have paid a reader to give a false reading. Yeah. They, <laughs> All right. Somebody could work at a strip club or somebody goes to the strip club. Okay, or they like to watch porn or something like that. Somebody could have had multiple partners. They could have said this about you. I feel like someone <clears throat> gave somebody uh, the wrong advice. Now, either this person said that you had multiple sex partners, or they told someone that was uh, an escort or someone that is like a proxy. Um, you know, a street walker or something like that, uh, escort, uh, that that was their partner. Okay. For some of you, this person, uh, this is giving me like false flame. Now we're going into this, this energy for some of you, this was a soulmate. Okay. Possibly somebody that you thought was your twin flame. They may have been with someone that was an escort or a strip 
a stripper. They met this person at a strip club here. All right. This person may have gotten a reading or something like that, or they do readings. Okay. But this per there was an illusion surrounding this person in the past. They may have even got this person pregnant. Okay. So this person may have lied on you. Somebody lied in this situation. Okay. I feel like somebody was only with someone because they were receiving some sort of, I'm hearing accolades, but what I was going to say was, uh, there possibly was a passing in someone's family. Okay. And someone knew that this person was going to get a payout. Okay. This is about insurance, insurance policies, probate court. Okay. Executors of a will or something like that. So somebody's in an unrequited love situation. Somebody may have, damn. I'm not going to say that somebody had a baby to try to trap someone. Okay. And this offer ended up getting poured out anyway. Somebody received a lot of debt. You may have told this person, you gave this person some sort of advice here. Okay. I'm hearing wishing on a star. Somebody was hoping and praying that possibly uh, Aries was their child's father. That's what I'm getting. Okay, or a Taurus, an emperor type of figure here. So this person handcuffed themselves to the floor in a situation. And now they're receiving karma, possibly because a child is not uh, whoever this is. Now you have to take it, take it how it resonates. Why is five of water here, please? Yeah, this is this somebody's karma here because they was only with somebody for money. Okay. Yeah, we got your life. Okay, so this person had abandonment issues. Now they're feeling grief or they feel regret or they took some sort of hit. There was a loss here. The devil's chauffeur. Okay, so they was dealing with somebody that was very deceitful. It says someone is being used to go to a gig or to get one. This is somebody's last chance here. So they're trying to use somebody again. They're trying to use somebody for accolades. You could be seeing two, two, two. Somebody's not paying attention to the synchronicity. 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 You get the gist. Okay. So somebody's currently in a bizarre event, a situation or environment. They went down the rabbit's hole here. Somebody could do hallucinates or something like that. We have a lost partnership because somebody was creeping. Somebody was only focusing on finances is what I'm getting. Somebody could be an Uber driver. Somebody met somebody while they were driving or at work, driving to work. Okay. Somebody's trying to... Ooh. Okay, so we have some, somebody feels trapped or they're, they're getting arrested. Again, this person is receiving karma. This could be somebody's sister. Okay, I'm hearing the sister of someone's ex that may be going to jail. They may have did some sort of embezzlement. Oh, yeah, this is a, a toxic couple here. Okay, so yeah, there's a, a couple that may be separating here. Somebody could be a Capricorn. They're getting arrested. Somebody has an entity attachment in this situation collective. This is not your energy. This is the energy of someone in your environment or your um, your twins environment. For some of you, this energy is only present because you have uh, your ex could be a false flame or um <clears throat> a lower level soulmate somebody that you have children with and that's why this is popping up you could be an aries and this is happening to you somebody was dealing with somebody that was flamboyant they met their match here okay this person was always coming in acting like they were going to save the day they was going to save somebody that was going to hop over trucks and take leaps and bounds and shit and now they got a tougher road ahead because they're dealing with somebody that collects broken hearts okay they purposely go after people that are damaged so they can control them somebody's really uh, realizing that somebody's in the dark night of the soul okay that card says it's a dark night to an old soul. You see the beacon of light through that black hole? Now that's a bars from yours truly. <laughs> Somebody has daddy issues or mother issues. We got the secret lover nobody knows about. Oh, shit. Somebody could be dealing with the same sign or they attract. Okay, if you're Aries, you attract a lot of Aries, okay? Or whoever their secret lover is, they may be dealing with a lot of Aries here. Somebody was confused in the situation because they were getting readings. Uh, yeah, somebody could like have an Aries moon or Aries rising or Aries sun. So there was some sort of confusion about who was doing what. 
Somebody was in the dark night of the soul, and this is why they were collecting hearts here. There was some sort of tower moment, okay? Somebody came through and did some sort of confession. So, or they want to confess something. This person does things without thinking at times. This person uh, knows that they've shown you no love, or this could be family members that are experiencing this. Yeah. Your family members may be having a hard time because they realize they've shown you no love in this situation, especially when you were going through the dark night of the soul. Oh, yeah. Yeah, This now this is my... my my elect ones here we got the elect ones on the throne of glory open your eyes and recognize so yeah your worth was hidden from your family members okay yeah so somebody had a secret lover and that was the tower moment you may have prophesied this if you're a reader here you may have told somebody to sacrifice an individual but i feel like in the past somebody got a reading or did a false reading they may have been upset with you because you were a reader. Okay, so they chose to go with the pick me. We got be awesome today. So somebody's getting some bad news here. This could be a family member of yours that's getting bad, bad news. Okay, or their family members. They wasted a lot of time trying to poison you or trying to poison this person's thoughts about you. Yeah, somebody told somebody to sacrifice somebody. Hopefully not, not literally. We got the Lion of God. So this is significant of the Lion's Gate portal. Somebody may be very emotional. I'm, I'm hearing 888. So this is about the Lion's, the Lion's Gate portal. Okay, some of you, you are connected to the Lion of Judah. Segment could be significant as well as Basset. Somebody wanted to conquer a situation or they needed to conquer this trust issues. Yeah, somebody did conquer a situation. They let somebody go. Somebody could also be a Leo involved. Yeah, so somebody doesn't want... Somebody doesn't want someone. For some of you, this is somebody's karma. If you're... I'm getting your false flame. Your false flame or your child's father. Take it how it resonates. They chose someone over you. This could be somebody that's a stripper or an escort. They may have found their divine counterpart or whatever and now somebody doesn't want somebody and that's the tower moment for someone somebody could have came in and seen came into somebody's home if they share a home together somebody could have packed up all their shit is what i'm getting this person wasn't thinking yeah there was there was a lot of options somebody had a lot of options okay so now they regret the fact that they didn't share the fact that they loved you or they regret the fact that they chose I oh, mean, I'm not going to say that they chose, they made a head over a heart decision. This person was thinking with their lower chakras here is what I'm getting. But there was uh, love here, but this person was in the Knight of Wands type of energy with the swinger being here. So it says your, your partner speaks values about who you are as a person. Balance is needed. Okay, somebody had a false sense of reality. This person needs to release bad habits. Stressful situations and negative thinking. Yeah, we have lost Seebeck. It's not about what you think you know. So this person thought they knew you or they thought they knew this person, but this person was a hidden enemy. Okay. Yeah, this is what family looks like. So they they possibly possibly may have felt like they had a child with this person or their family didn't like you or something like that. They Somebody thought that they knew you. But you overcame some sort of adversity here. This person was using reverse psychology. Are they playing to? Yeah, they didn't want to sacrifice these these negative thoughts. Okay, so this person was acting like they didn't want to be with you. Um, they were acting like they were better than you. But in real actuality, all they had to offer was sex and our drugs. Somebody was using a voodoo doll in this situation. They were being tested. So yeah, compensation, expectations. So somebody may have promised somebody some money uh, to separate something or give a false reading. We got stained glass. Time to get honest about your perception of a situation. Okay, we got Eight of Cups energy. So this person walked away from you be possibly because of what their friends and family members were thinking about you. But the whole time they had an entity attachment. 
Okay, the friends and family didn't know that this person was promiscuous, whether if they're male or female. I feel like the friends and family members may have stalked you and watched you. They're holding back from their friends and family member that they got robbed in a situation or that the person that they attracted was, was as equally diabolical as them. Yeah, they didn't realize they were dealing with a soulless being. Somebody that likes darkness. This person is attracted to money. They also do jar spells to trap people. You may be feeling a pull towards this person or you had a dream. You prophesied something in this situation. I'm being guided to let it go. Yeah, either you're walking away from a situation. Your divine counterpart is walking away from a situation and or the person that you thought was your twin flame, your false flame is regretting the fact that they walked away from you. All right. I hope this gave you some clarity. Deuces.